In this video, Adrian and I will talk about our approaches to the to our careers and how we started and put it in comparison how it is now and how it was back in the day when I started my musical career since we are a little bit far away from each other age-wise. <laughs> The knowledge I have, I wouldn't start a musical career probably. <laughs> it's very tough to start a musical career nowadays if you want to be commercially successful in a way that you can live of it, especially in, in the job that I was doing as a producer. It uh, was way, di way different back in the day. For example, opening up in the studio nowadays, that's pretty tough because people can do stuff at home and they do stuff at home. And this is also the way a lot of productions work today. Back in the day, it wasn't like this. One tip could be that you have to be honest with, with what you're doing. That's the most important thing that counts for now and that counted like 30 years ago. You have to do something by heart and not because you think it's cool or like anybody would think you're cool if you're a guitar player. That should not be the intention. The intention should be I want to do music because I love music. This is the basic thing for building up a career that can last long and that you're happy with. You cannot have a career with something you're not happy with. You have to love what you're doing. And if you don't love what you're doing, doing don't do it. <laughs> I wanted to study jazz guitar back in the day. I didn't do it because I was uh, dropping off school and then I wanted to have like a year off for rehearsing and uh, starting to study. And then I found out that I'm obligated to have like at least one more year of like uh, some sort of education to be able to study and uh, so I had to start like a, another job and in this time Heaven's Gate started so and then we were starting touring and then I just didn't do it. For me I think it was the better way anyways because I'm not very good at studying things, I mean copying things or whatsoever. My way of doing things is totally out of my belly. I just do what I feel and I have a hard time following rules. I was like very lucky. We somehow got a record deal very early when I was 17 and so I could work in a professional environment and uh, met people and uh, started working in production suddenly and I had the opportunity to work in studios and not everybody has this opportunity. If you don't have it, it's super good to be in a music school and uh, learn stuff there. So you can work with the equipment and you can meet people, uh, have an exchange of ideas and stuff. School can be a very good opportunity for people that were not that lucky to like fall into the music business like I was. I think it's a matter of what you want to do also, how you you personally approach things and what music you want to do and what you actually want to achieve with your, mu your music. I also had this problem in the, in the regular school. I could never really relate to the system in a way. Starting a musical career is, all, is always a very personal thing because it totally depends on how the person is, how the character is. I think the most important thing no matter what is that you are true to yourself and that you do the things that you really love because if you don't you will not be able to work hard on on the stuff uh, that you don't like not not for um, for a long period of time so it helps a lot if you really do stuff that you are behind and you should also try to find people that have like a similar idea about stuff it's much easier to work together with people and be inspired by other people and let people be inspired by you and then s something can really happen and like there's that then it, then music is actually happening and then you can learn so if you ha have like people that you work with and you open yourself up to their ideas as well then you are able to build up something and uh, make something of your own out of it try to not to be too stubborn and be open to other people. Very important is that you have a basic uh, knowledge and a basic musical wisdom to uh, to start with. I think it's much better if you work on your on your basics before you are heading for something more professional. If I would be 17 again and I would know about social media, as I don't know it today as well. <laughs> the problem is I'm not still not very good at social media. Of course, I would do many things different, but I would still be the same character and the same, same type of person that I always was. Uh, that was like, usually it's more somebody that tended to be 
more towards the background <laughs> than to be in the first row. That wouldn't change too much, but I would try to learn more things from the internet. I mean, when I was 17, I found out about this, it was called Abersold Records, that was like vinyl albums. On one side there was a melody instrument and on the, on the other side you had the band and that was something, wow, cool. And nowadays you have much more possibilities. You can find people explaining every song, every technique, everything. And I would probably use this to a big extent because I think it's great if you uh, I have all these possibilities that I actually didn't have, uh, but can also be interesting to find out stuff yourself. You do it different in a, uh, in a certain way. So, but I would probably use all these new, new um, quotations things because uh, I was totally searching for stuff and I couldn't find stuff back in the day. And now it's possible. <laughs> 